I Love You Enough by Emily Wilson. A lot has happened recently, but we can change the way we see the things that are so different now. This little book will show you how. As it turns out, love abounds. If you look, it can be found. In the things for others we now do, and all the things they do for you. Perhaps instead of being scared, we can see how people care. Life right now may seem tough, but together we're saying, I love you enough. The world is full of little germs that you and I can't see. Usually those tiny things are harmless as can be, but some of them can make us sick. We start to cough and sneeze, and today there's a peculiar kind that can make it hard to breathe. To keep those germs from spreading, we have rules we've never had, and you might feel confused, angry, lost, or even sad. It may help if we can change the way we see the things we see. Masks and distance are how the world shows love for you and me. I love you enough, says the parent, to don a mask when going outside. The experts have said it will help slow the spread, and so I wear mine with pride. I love you enough, says the teacher, to teach your class online. Do your best, try not to stress, and you will do just fine. I love you enough, says the best friend, to not come over and play. We will drive by your house, out the window will shout, we love you and happy birthday. I love you enough, says the grandma, to stick to long chats on the phone. Virtual greetings and telephone meetings will help us not feel so alone. I love you enough, says the trucker, to drive all day and night, moving supplies for those who save lives to make sure we come out all right. I love you enough, says the grocer, to stock the shelves with bread, beans and soup, veggies and fruit will help keep your family fed. I love you enough, says the mailman, to carry the mail to your door. Packages, letters, hellos, and get betters are more crucial than ever before. I love you enough, says the janitor, to wipe and scrub and spray. I'll clean through the night to get things just right and keep those germs at bay. I love you enough, says the officer, to continue patrolling the streets. Despite all the risk, I'll be there to assist. Fighting germs has become my new beat. I love you enough, says the farmer, to plow and plant and grow. Tending the field and the crops it will yield, spreading kindness with each seed I sow. I love you enough, says the doctor, to put my own health on the line. With nurses who care, we'll always be there until we are all feeling fine. Staying at home and playing alone make these days seem long and tough. But by making these choices, we're telling the world, yes, I love you enough. This is Tiffany with Warrior Book Mom. If you'd like to hear more stories like this one, please subscribe and like. Thank you.